Hello, good afternoon. Today is uh, 15th of October. Bullying. Yes, sounds very straight. Bully. Yes. So, uh, 2009, I think it is the year of the start of the uh, scene for bullying. It is called kivaprogram.fi K-I-V-A kivaprogram.fi It was made up of some university collaboration with the schools and some uh, specialists uh, and the psychologists, lawyers and all this uh, for the uh, uh, elimination of uh, Bullying, then it was compulsory implemented in 2009 in the Finnish schools, which, as you know, all of them are public. So it was a great success as eliminates 90-0 bully with six year old kids. Right. How is it so possible? Simple. Yes, the Finnish way. Simple. I saw the leaflet because I happen to be consul of Finland for about 21 years now. And so I, I happened to see the, 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 the brochure, the, the, the leaflet, how it is organized. And uh, it was uh, for 40, 40 pages of mostly photos of kids smiling, kids hungry. So. Then, if there was a, a kid smiling, okay, no worry. But if there is a kid, so not happy, then the idea was that we, we, we had to go there and play football and uh, play whatever sports or, or with uh, that uh, kid. And uh, so if it continued, then it would have to be reported and then there would be a teacher with orange uh, shared or something to in the uh, uh, off time in the school then uh, identify these cases work analyze statistics and that's all then everybody would be in the photos smiling and I remember uh, to have had about uh, four years ago a meeting here with the Basque government and they were really worried about uh, in what language would they uh, have this leaflet of uh, 40 pages? Can you imagine these leaders, political leaders, thinking to delay uh, the eradication of bullying? I'm just really amazed. So I thought you uh, young uh, uh, millennials and Zeta generations, you must ask these politicians if they are your parents, please. Go and stop this now. It's time for it to be stopped. Now, we are tired of watching uh, corrective actions in the justice, not uh, preventive. Why? Because if we can eradicate at the core, at the initial stages with six years old, 90% of uh, bullying, then why do we have to see how much violence it is generated like that? I don't understand this. And this is a human right now. So you have seen my experience with the Basque uh, uh, education uh, department. They were worried about translating it into, into Basque and still they have not implemented the thing. Still, you can see and watch the news, the violence, and uh, then everybody, the justice is putting people to jail and having all these trials and this costs so much. No one really evaluated the opportunity cost and the intrinsic value of this to society because the first thing we would have to do is fire those public uh, uh, education and then we would go to the justice and do the same thing because they could have been stopped with six years old and that's something that uh, really has been going since 2009 in Finland. So every day is one day more, one day less. So you can watch the, the clock. Every second, 
and that's the calendar. I also uh, happened to be once in uh, San Sebastian with the judges. I drove over there in a bus with the consuls. And then when I had my chance, yes, I do have chances now and then, I tried to make a move. And then I got there to have the, uh, the justice uh, dean and also in San Sebastian and then another, another judge more. So the three bosses, and I asked them, why is it that uh, instead of having so much uh, violence against the women in Spain and uh, corrective sentences and blah, 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 why is justice not preventive and we can cut this with kids six years old like Finland has done since 2009? Well, it was very funny because I've never seen judges run so fast. Yes, all went three different corners. Yes, it's like a watch. It's north, east, south. Yes, I was left there in the middle, if you don't understand. Well, what happened, Jose, is just like this move you're making. It was really a good one. It happened to... Well, um, um, unfortunately, it was not taped. It should have, because it would have been in the Guinness records. Yes. Um, how to make the justice run so fast. Well, it is kind of a joke, you see, it is uh, British uh, humor, but uh, indeed, it is really not so nice, these kind of jokes. But indeed, I wanted to make this video to explain to you millennials and that generation worldwide. Now, this system exists. It is in Finland since 2009. Of course, Finland had problems too, in order to have to devote some kind of genius people, intellectual people, to make a very, very simple system. But I can tell you that these simple systems that Finland has are excellent state of the art, yes. And uh, they are really, they are really number one in simplification of the simplification being simplified. And uh, yes, it is very nice indeed. Of course, Finland has the help of uh, Santa Claus. And uh, well, that's a big, Big help, you know. It is being local, you know, local, local anti-bullying system. It was pushed by Santa Claus, so it's a bit uh, easier to do. But still, today it is 15th of October. I have not seen this improvement in the whole of Europe and the whole of the world, but I look forward to seeing this because I believe the new generations uh, must avoid these risks at the core when they start because it's much easier and. Uh, 90% of cases approx, yes, success. And the system is all about photos. When they mentioned about translating into Basque, I told them, why don't you put this in English? Because they start, the kids start six years old. They start with English. So I said, why don't you do English with this? Uh, of course, it was so simple that uh, everybody started running around fast in all directions again see i don't know this is kind of a situation that happens sometimes when you have simple solutions and when you learn so much from the finnish people that uh, really uh, sometimes it's good and sometimes people run yes so this video is for you uh, now that you can implement and study this uh, kiva program .fi. Is a really successful uh, system to eliminate this uh, bullying six years old worldwide. And uh, don't run away. And if you do, as it's a digital way, then it's not the second time I tell you this, it's the third time. So perhaps the third time we, 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 we get to explain a little bit better. I'm sure it was my problem that I did not explain so well this area. But if I cannot explain it perhaps so well, perhaps your kids can understand the education department, uh, judges, justice. Perhaps they can explain to mommy and daddy and they understand now a little bit better. Or perhaps I will have to make a fourth video very soon about this because I believe that in this coronavirus, we can eliminate risk zero. And I believe that the kids deserve the right to have this because 
even Elon, Elon Musk, we heard that he was bullied when he was a kid. It's normal because he probably was so good at whatever he did that everybody tried to eradicate this genius because it was not normal. Still, he is making some inventions that, uh, you know, uh, going, going to the moon and then suddenly returning and, and what is going on? No one did that before. See, I still think he is a little bit, you see, too fast for me and for many other people. <laughs> but I thank you, Ellen, about this. And I'm sure that there's many other people that will get bullied because they are so good and always is because they are so good. I never be negative. So I'm sure that it is that we have to solve it in the beginning and perhaps Ellen can show me how he does this engineering. Perhaps I can learn a little bit today. And uh, even though it will be very hard because these, these people that uh, either bully or are bullied are, are, are very nice people. And, uh, anyway, so enough is enough. Thank you very much. Have a very nice weekend. And if you get in touch with these uh, judges, with these um, politicians, tell them that it is not the time to translate this system into Basque language. No. If kids start English with a six years old, this same leaflet, you can put it, we can translate later. You see, because if you evaluate the risk of delaying one year, I'm sure that the judges and the politicians will pay the cost. But the problem of that uh, health cost is that once it's done, you cannot eradicate it. So it is huge problem and therefore it is a huge right. So the sooner, the faster. And uh, well, if we have to make four videos, I will not surrender. Thank you. Bye.